Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 24. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find which application is consuming the most statement or statistics heap memory usage. Before getting into the solution, we'll look at what are the operations that will be consuming the statistics or the statement heap. So the statistics heap will be consumed by the run stats command, which will be collecting the statistics on a table or view. And it also comes from the application memory. Uh, statement heap is actually a SQL workspace that will be used for query preparation, compilation, access plan generation, uh, etc. So it will be like a more it will be more like a SQL workspace which will be used temporarily during the uh, different phases of the uh, query uh, SQL uh, operation. So that is the statement heap. Now both the statement heap and the statistics heap will be allocated from the application memory. Now which application is consuming the most statistics heap or the statement heap can be easily uh, uh, can be easily tracked. So for that you can use the command. The solution is to use the command db2 mtrack hyphen a hyphen v is for the verbose output hyphen a is for application. So when it when the memory tracker lists the application level memory usage, it will also along with that it will list the statistics heap that is consumed or the statement heap that is consumed. It will also list the private sort memory heap that is consumed for a particular agent uh, private sort if that is enabled in the database. Now apart from db2 mtrack command, you can also use the mon get memory pool uh, routine. It is actually a built-in routine. It is the same functionality as the mtrack command. Uh, you have to pass three arguments. One is the memory type, like uh, whether it is an application level or whether it's a database level or it is a statistics or a statement heap like that. The different components you can uh, pass. The second argument is the DB name. And the third argument is the member. Member is will be used for the partition databases. Like normally if it is minus one, if you pass, it will be uh, current member. If you pass minus two, it will be all members like that. So let's just quickly get into the examples and look at what this uh, statistics heap is and how we can uh, use the mtrack command and the mon get memory pool to in usage. We can see that in a demo. Okay, so here I am actually already the database is there. The database is test database. It has a huge data, the table name, and it has about uh, two. 250 2.5 million uh, records are there in that and I'm updating the uh, APPL memory APPL heap size and stat heap size memory uh, instead of the self tuning memory I'm just fixing it some values so that uh, we can visually see otherwise uh, if it is self tuning is enabled uh, in fraction of second it will be gone I'll, I'll not be able to demonstrate that so I'm just updating these memory parameters here okay next thing is I have to run the run stats command so because for statistics heap, I have to, uh, you know, uh, just run the run stats command. Okay, so before running the run stats command, what I'll do is, I'll show you the mtrack command output, okay. So here in the mtrack command output, you can very clearly see that See, it lists, lists down uh, db2 mtrack hyphen a hyphen e. V is for verbose, a is for application. So it will list for each and every, so under the database test, for each and every application, so there is an application number, memory for application 13. What is the application heap? What is the other memory? So here only you will find the component statistics heap getting displayed. So for this, our application number is 7 actually. For our uh, memory connection, the application number is 7. So application heap is now this many bytes, other memory is this much, total memory is this much. Here you will find under this application, statistics heap is also allocated. So we'll just run that and we'll see that, okay? So I've executed it. Now again, I'll come here, look at here. See for memory for application seven, it is displaying the statistics heap. So because this, so it will be showing this information till that, uh, yeah, now it is gone. See here, now it is gone. So which means this run stats command should have been completed. See it has been completed, okay? So this is very simple, okay? So mtrack hyphen a hyphen b that will tell you what is the statistics heap that is uh, collected. See here, statistics heap that is used. So it has used almost uh, 3 MB, okay, of statistics heap. So this is using the mtrack command. 
for that so which application is consuming you can see here in memory for application 7 so this is a command line interface now if you want you can get the same information in a SQL based interface also for that what I need to do is I need to connect to the database I need to use the built-in routine okay so I'll connect to the database I'll have to execute a query okay so this is the query okay here you can see I'm uh, selecting the application handle uh, then I am selecting the memory set type then memory pool type then memory pool used so this will tell you how much of memory is used this will tell you high water mark usage for that memory pool mon get memory pool that is the routine name mon get memory pool for application handle 7 ok I am selecting because otherwise it will show for all applications so I am just executing it for 7 see for application handle 7 the memory set type is application the memory pool type is also application the memory pool used is 131072 that is the high watermark also ok so now what we will do we will simply run the run stats command once again and we will look at here see here it shows the statistics 3 MB usage so again it shows here in bytes so you have to convert this into MB ok so you can see here the application handle 7 under the category memory pool type statistics is consuming the statistics heap of 3 MB so like this you can modify the query and list for all the applications what are all the statistics heap that is allocated so now you can see that the statistics heap whatever was allocated it has been released so the run stats command should have been completed now see the run stats has been completed it's very simple okay so this is how we can easily use this built-in routine uh, or the mtrack command to find out which particular application is consuming the most statistics heap or statement heap as well okay and also private sort as well if the private sort has been enabled that's it in this video tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy uh, see you in the next tutorial bye bye